Burns, you're at Listen Out with the AU Review. You've just been traveling around, you, you literally haven't stopped traveling around for the last few months, have you? <laughs> for the last two years, I think, actually. <laughs> yeah. I, I'm sure I'll come up for air at some point soon, but it hasn't been for a while. How do you keep, you know, obviously today's not one of your best days, but how do you keep kind of up your head above water as you kind of, you know, traverse the globe to play these shows? I mean, the key is obviously trying to stay on top of the obvious, really, like sleeping as much as possible, eating well, exercising where possible. I've actually, despite fighting off a cold right now, I've actually been to the gym the last couple of days to try and batter it out of me, you know, because I'm a big believer in just staying on top of these things, keeping everything ticking, and a lot of the time it's tiredness that, that does it, you know? So um, I, I tend to find if I've, I've had a decent amount of sleep, I don't don't let generally these things get the better of me, but it's, uh, it's trying its best right now. <laughs> <laughs> and sometimes sleep is easier said than done when you're on the road. Totally, yeah. I spend most of my flights sleeping these days rather than hotels, but um, yeah, that's the nature of the job, I think. And you're going to get a little bit of time off, though, in Australia, by the looks of it. You have a few dates here and there. I've got, yeah, this, so I've got obviously Sydney today, Perth tomorrow, Melbourne and Brisbane next weekend, and I've got some time off in Melbourne in between to relax and see friends who moved out there a few years back, spending a few days in Port Douglas with another couple of friends, and then uh, go to Bali for, for a one, one date, so yeah. Well, you're here at Listen Out Festival. We've got you for a couple of weeks in Australia, and um, you know what can we expect from these shows? Um, guess you have to come along to find out. <laughs> No, um, I always play a mixture of things in my set, from how, you know deep house through to the techier stuff. But um, uh, you can always expect good music. That's my music policy. I don't really tend to sort of get too tied up with genres. Obviously, it's always I find it a bit tricky playing for an hour. These festival sets are sometimes a little bit challenging because I like to sort of play quite a mixture of stuff over a few hours. That's my ideal set. But. Um, Come along and you'll find out. <laughs> what's, what's the longest set you've ever played? About seven or eight. Oh no, actually, thirteen hours. Yeah, thirteen hours. Um, that was actually not at a at a party though. That was at my friend's birthday, and then <laughs> seven hours in a club. Fair enough. Yeah. When was last time you were Australia? December last year. Yeah, that was my first uh, tour over here, and it was just a three-day club show. Uh, doing yeah, Sydney, Perth, and Melbourne. So you get a little bit more time this time around. Yeah, a little bit more, yeah. Any things that you're, you're looking forward to doing while you're here? Sounds like seeing some friends and, and relaxing a bit. The majority of my time will be spent catching up with friends, yeah. People who are, you know, good friends of mine from the UK who moved out here and have been out here several years, who I've not obviously had the opportunity to come out and see, uh, apart from now. My last trip was very, very short and sweet, so, um, so yeah, that's the bit I'm looking forward to most. Well, it's good to have you back. Hopefully you come back more often. And, yeah, hopefully um, so. What's the rest of the year holding for you? Um, I'm off to Brazil in a couple of weeks. Uh, I'm pretty much just in and out of Europe the next few months. I've got ADE, Amsterdam Dance Event as soon as I get back. Um, and yeah, and then I guess it'll be 2014 and the start of the year, BPM again in Mexico and uh, my uh, birthday actually in January as well. So yeah, that's what I've got to look forward to the next few months. <laughs> and anyone you're looking forward to seeing while you're at Listen Out? John Talibut. Yeah, he's. I uh, really, really love his productions, but I've never actually seen him live. So, uh, really looking forward to see him. And it's always a pleasure to see Miguel as well. Miguel's a friend of mine from Leeds, where um, where I live in in the UK. So, uh, so yeah, looking forward to seeing. I mean, I'm looking forward to seeing everyone. To be honest, there's quite a few on there that I've never seen perform live. So, uh, so yeah, looking forward to dipping into all of it. Really. Fantastic. Well, thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Look forward to seeing you out there. See you soon. Bye.